Welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. Zimbabweans should not be worried about a new deadly disease that broke out recently in South America. Jeffrey Moyer reports. A local health expert has allayed fears about Zimbabweans contracting an insect-induced disease that recently broke out in Latin and Central America. The dreaded disease, Chagas, dubbed the AIDS of the Americas, has affected 8 million people, sending panic across the globe. It is transmitted by blood-sucking insects that release a parasite which penetrates the heart where it then multiplies. We are not very concerned about Chagas disease here in Zimbabwe because it's not a tropical illness. This is a, a parasite that is predominantly found in Southern uh, Americas and Latin America. However, today the world is uh, a global village and we know there are a lot of Zimbabweans that are all over the world. So some of the documented instances of Chagas uh, infection have been in transplant patients. So you, you have been free of the disease, but when you accept an organ, it may you know, come with the uh, infection. Some panic-stricken Harare residents spoke about the disease. Mosquito jayega guruma, no kwanza kuti nengu watu wane chirwereka na yaga ruma mwe muna ne chirwere chocho. Maone rangu ndeo kuti chirwere chikuti chichi zivire chinenge chingango nepe. Nukumbi lisa kwa kuvedu, kwa kiba tiro mwe nyara wane chirwere chocho tisa boshika za chose mkati menyika inu. Others called for a ban on travelers and food imports, while some age government to dispatch a team to the affected countries to gather more information. Kurumendi edino fanange chituma wa my health experts. South America was a Katana Chiverejo, put to Andro Zizanesa, Chono, what is no Gone, what is what the effect of Kuno face. The authorities stop those people from traveling to other countries that are affected. And the actual is to ban Emma imports, Emma food, whatever consumables are never from those countries. They should stop them. With Zimbabwe battling to contain HIV and AIDS, the last thing people would want is another pandemic. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo, Harare, Zimbabwe. Where the farmers are now diversifying their crops as a response to climate change. Jairos Saunyama tells us more. Farmers in Weza district, some 127 kilometers south of Harare, are now increasingly feeling the impact of climate change. Weza was one of the country's main grain producing areas. But no rainfall has left the farmers with no option but to diversify. The farmers told ATV recently how climate change is affecting them. One of the farmers, Joshua Nata, said the grain marketing depot is no longer operational. Farmers have now resorted to butter trade with maize growers in other regions for survival. However, a villager, Joseph Chingosho, encouraged the farmers to adapt and come up with the strategies to combat the effects of climate change. <laughs> Farmers also expressed concern over the drying up of water bodies in the area due to changing rainfall patterns. Of late, most of the wetlands that are dry up, Zafa, and the water sources in Majinji, either dry up or in Buhari permanently. Reporting for ATV in Weza, Zimbabwe. A Mutoko woman is struggling to look after seven children after being dumped by her husband. Muchaneta Chimuka gives us the report. 
A Mutoko woman who was dumped by her husband for bearing triplets is now struggling to look after the triplets and four other children. 35-year-old Vongai Shiromonya was dumped by her husband last year and since then life has never been easy for her. Chiromonya, a vendor in Arare, is now begging to supplement her income. Some people who sympathize with Chiromonya spoke about her plight. Saka idambuziko gurure kuti amaya kuti wagone kutoya mwisa vana vacho mukaka kuti vawane mukaka kuti vana iva vavagute. Plus kuti vamwe vana vawone kudya kana kuti vawone kuri machai kana kuti vawone nguva yekuti wawach vana iva vavese vari vatatu vane nguva kabatirwa nani. Idambuziko randi shungurudza zvikuru. The director of a local orphanage Elizabeth Mavoni urged the government to assist such underprivileged people. Last year, a local seed company, Seedco, assisted a Harare woman, Chipotembo who was ditched by her husband after giving birth to triplets. It's a common practice in Zimbabwe for a woman to be dumped for failing to conceive. But for a woman to be dumped after giving birth to triplets is a new phenomenon. I am Muchaneta Chimuka reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.